Hello designer there. Welcome to my channel. Today I will show you how to use BIW templates in Katia. So let's start it. Go to start menu. Shape. Generative shape design. Here you can give any name. I am giving BIW. Say OK. BIW templates shown here. If it will not you can right click on here and enable this. BIW templates contains 5 commands or I would say 5 tools. The name is junction, die below, hall, matting flange and bead. We will see all of this one by one. So let's start it. Junction command is mostly used in automobile. So for creating uh, or using this, we have some basic designs. So I will create first uh, some basic supports. For this, I will create plane. The distance, the object distance is 50. Select OK. Then I will select circle from wireframe. For create a center, right click on it and create point. The point is on Y axis and offset distance is 50 mm. Select OK. Then the radius is 20 mm. And the support is the plane which we created. Select OK. Then extrude it by surface and extrude. Select the profile. The direction is y axis the dimension for this is 30 select ok now we will pattern it so, so we will select your circular pattern select the x2 which we have created the instance is 3 the degree we are in between all this is 90 degree the reference is z axis Select OK. So you can see here this is all a support or for uh, creating junction. Now we will create couplings. For creating couplings, we go to wireframe and then connect call. I will zoom this. Select a point. I will select this point and select cow. See, I will select this again. Select point, point over here and select cow here. So this is the coupling. So it will help us in again. Go to wireframe, select point, curve, select point, and curve, select OK. And for third, I will create a line, so select first point, select second point, select OK. For creating the third line, we have go to points, create points here on cow and select this cow. I want it in middle, so middle point and OK. The second point again, create point, select cow in middle, OK and OK. So here is the, our basic needs. Now I will go to junction. In first part, we will select all edges of the surface. 
so first is this second and third and then go to the coupling cows select support in support we will select this this and this select ok so you can see here the basic junction which is used in automobiles let's jump to the next this is the diabolo for creating diabolo we need some basic supports or surface for this i will create a sketch I will study mirror it for better. Now I will create the plane offset from XY. Select OK to offset this select that and uh, create sketch here I will create a circle the size of circle is 20 now I will fill it so the fill command is in surface and select a curve select ok now I will select Diabolo the seat surface which is here the fill surface the base element that one and the dark angle you can give anything or any degree I am giving 5 degree and preview so this is the Diabolo So next one is hall. For hall, I have already created one surface. Select hall. First select center. So the point is here. Select point. Support surface. So you can see the command is already applied. Around here is the some default sections cutouts you can give anything or uh, here is the you can uh, edit it to any dimension select ok the basic one now third matting flange for matting flange I have already created one surface and one sketch which is projected on it so select first matting page, select base surface, which is surface. The reference element is the sketch or uh, any projector profile on it. The reference direction, which is pool direction over here, and say preview. Here is you can see the matting flange. The dimension you can control by here. By changing this, you can get the appropriate result. For P, I have already created one surface and one sketch, which is project memory. And here one is point. So, using bead is very easy. S select bead. The base surface is the uh, surface we which we have created. The location point is here any point or any corner points and that's it now you can control the size of bead by here We're giving the dimension different dimension and select ok you can see your effect ok thank you